The state government is spruiking a dramatic cut in the waiting list for specialist doctors. New figures also show the number of Queenslanders waiting longer than recommended for elective surgery in public hospitals has halved in the past year. Here's state political reporter George Roberts with this exclusive story. Just after Isabel was born, her mother found herself needing urgent medical attention with sudden stabbing pain. I thought that I was perhaps dying or hemorrhaging because the pain was so severe and it was so soon after giving birth. She was told she'd have to wait, potentially for months, to have her gallbladder removed in a public hospital. So I decided it was just a better option to get it done privately. The latest health department figures indicate the number of Queenslanders waiting longer than recommended for elective surgery has halved. We've gone from 324 to 161 this month. So that's a reduction of 50% since we've come to government. According to figures provided to ABC News, the number of people waiting too long to see a specialist in the public system has dropped from more than 100,000 in February last year. Today that's been reduced to less than 69,000. And last month, no Queensland children were recorded waiting for treatment for longer than doctors advise. The government's crediting an extra injection of funds to hire more doctors and nurses. With Labor, the answer is always more money and more resources, whereas the LNP was able to show that more efficient use of resources uh, is something that can also bring these lists down. What this shows is that if you invest in people in healthcare, you get better health outcomes, and that's good for Queensland. A government-supported health charity welcomes the figures. I think these numbers have to come down even further. We've got finite resources within our health system and the longer people wait to receive care, the worse and more chronic their conditions are going to be and the greater financial burden is going to be on the health system. There's always room for improvement. George Roberts, ABC News, Brisbane.